you're about to witness is something the disc golf world has never seen before. The best players in the world competing in the most unlikely of places. You're watching Joe Mez Pro, The Putting Game. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Nate Perkins, co-hosting today with my good friend Brian Earhart. Jerm and Yuli are on a boat in the Caribbean and they said it was cool if Brian and I filled in for him today. I've got four of the best disc golfers in the world today and we have gathered in an indoor trampoline park. I've got five-time world champion Paige Pierce, current US champion Chris Dickerson, local scrub Calvin Heinberg, and 2020 Pro Tour champion Kevin Jones. Today we're playing a modified version of horse using the letters in Jomez Pro. Brian, hit him with the rules. If you've ever played horse before, you'll catch on quickly. Players rotate picking stations where each player gets two attempts. You make them both, you're safe. However, if you make fewer putts than one of your competitors, you could receive one or even two letters. Spell Jomez Pro and you are eliminated. Back flips and front flips are out of play. We are only able to choose a putt type that all players can achieve. All right, so we're starting with the player who has the most world titles. Is that Calvin or Kev? Or? You know, I believe all the MPO players have zero. Paige being the only one with world titles, she will go first. All right, so Paige is starting off on a balanced beam. It looks to be maybe 60 foot or 65. Paige, you going Mando? Mando Anheuser. Mando Anheuser around the pole, jumping into the foam pit. I can't even contain myself really right now, Brian. <laughs> yeah, we're really just hoping that they maintain balance and don't uh, bash their head. All right, so guys, you have to jump off when you get to this line, to the left, Mando Annie. Gymnast. Fade oh, away. Huge Annie. Oh, she just <laughs> misses it left. Oh, <laughs> so close. This is really cool. We get a different side of these athletes today, Brian. Get in! <laughs> Especially at a trampoline park with some of the more eccentric players on tour. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, these players, they're dominant athletes, but they're, they're children at heart. Paige, bold move with the Anheuser putt. Kev, Kev. Oh, short. Oh, oh good oh, shot, Kev. Miss the man. Good shot, Kev. No. <laughs> man. No, okay. no, he, Kevin he squares it. the only tree in the fairway. He that's hard. No, hey, uh, that's hard. Come on, Kev. More, more to the right this Let's time. Go, Kev. And he's taking a run up. He gets the run up. Oh. Go, Danny. Oh, he gets the man oh, no. pull again. No he chance can. for Kev well, Jones on the first station. At least I can tell people that. Yeah, I Kev. Done and that man is living in the foam. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. Hey. It's like American Ninja right, Warrior gone Don't disc golf. And Calvin just has a little bit of an advantage here. Go, <laughs> so Calvin. Oh, he misses, Ooh, misses the, Mando. the Mando. I feel like you should get all a right, J right. just for missing we the Mando. Make, we can't do worse than that, right? Oh, oh, sick. And he's not That's even taking his time. No, Annie, Ooh. though. No wow. chance. Paige started so off, hard. and she was clearly the closest oh of the gosh. group so far. If it's one thing I know about Chris Dickerson is that hey, no he plays here. to win at all costs. Oh, let's go! Oh, let's go! Oh, he drains the first one! <laughs> Dang. That is a J for the rest of our players here. Let's see if he can give them two letters. And he's the last player. This could be the dagger here. Oh, he's hitting with the pass. You ready? Come on. He's the quarterback. Let's go, back to back. Oh! No way! Woo! Just left. And the robot chicken downloaded that putt into his brain before, <laughs> before he threw it. That was amazing. Jay for Calvin and Kevin and Paige. So we have already a J for myself, so it's time to step on the gas. So we're gonna go one foot in each section. Just one. Uh huh. Until the last section, you're out, able to use two feet, and ultimately, if you do it right, it's just a straddle jump putt off of a trampoline. At the end of the day. <laughs> That's all it is, folks. Kev really oh, displaying some of his athleticism. You can tell he's got that background in sports. One, Spring. two. He's got to go 180. Double foot jump putt. Oh, Great oh, it! Yeah, he's yeah. been working on it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, Yo, that's only one. Give him two. Give him two. Oh, baby. Wow. Notice how he collected his balance after he jumped off the last trampoline. There's one. There's two. There's three. He's got a spring. Two. Drains it. He got it. He got it. Cam Jones, baby. The legends are true. The legends are true. Oh, wow. That is going to be a double tough to dagger. Follow. And the worst part is for Kev, as as much as he did maximize his opportunity, giving each player at least a letter if they miss. Yeah. That's his only putt think, in the bag now. Right. <laughs> Calvin's Calvin lining up. Calvin match it. Turns around. <laughs> doesn't find his balance though. Oh, oh that was the big difference there. He just wasn't able to get that rotation. Were you rotating before? Yeah, he was rotating. He was rotating before. One, I don't know if that's your play. Yeah, I don't like it. Calvin with the jump. I just, off the back. Oh, yeah. and that that's going to be two letters for Calvin. He was rotating before the wall? He did, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah that's the idea, you know. Wow, Kev really you made that one look easy, though. It's so that like, last step. You have to start yeah, yeah. turning oh, okay. 180 as start you jump harder. off that just, back wall. Chris is lining it up. I think where Calvin made the mistake was not getting that last jump high enough so that he had time to reset. Here's Dickerson. Look at, look at the reset by Chris. Oh, wow. That's okay. He looks like he's in control. He did find his balance. He was just a little high. Okay, fine, fine. Look, what foot, what foot? Here it is. Let's go! And the boy knows his trampolines. Oh, my gosh. Chris saves himself. Good. Good. Come on, Paige. Paige Larry. is going bigger run up here. You want some speed? You want some speed? One, one two, oh, one, two. Oh, 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 oh. oh no! And an epic it's blunder it's from Paige. Loud. That looked incredibly <laughs> difficult. She just wasn't able to get all the way around. It's like, all right, Calvin, next putt, 25. You almost have to take a little bit off on that second. You yep. got it, you got it, play through, play through. Keep going, keep going. Oh. See you. And a large, large failure for Mage. <laughs> that is two letters. Kevin executing on his game plan. He made that look easy, Brian. I have heard from outside sources that he was here last night. He did buy a pass and was working on this putt amongst the children that were jumping on the trampolines. His hard work is paying off. Looks like uh, local scrub Calvin Heimberg is lining up what appears to be a upside down triple mando. We could potentially call it the quadruple mando from the ceiling. Action. First platform <laughs> is the mando and the uh, monkey bars at the end do not appear to count. And the floor is lava. Hey the floor is absolute lava. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Woo! Oh, <laughs> he almost my. drained that one. And a one. third putt. I don't know if that is uh, counting against him or not as a letter. And you know, actually now looking at the putt, Calvin might be the only person that is able to make it getting that nose oh, down the way that he does. <laughs> almost uh, borderline unfair with how tall he is. Chris Dickerson's okay. pretty good at making other people's putts, though. Whoa! Oh, See, that was on track for some change. And that last yeah, monkey bar makes you go <laughs> nose down. Whoa. No, Whoa. it gets it again. Yeah. And his this are melting down in the lava pit. Dangerous. You must join me. And Paige definitely has a good right. look at this with her spin putt. Is she going to jump putt this? It may help. All right. She does I'm not in. need to jump putt it. Oh! oh. And I, oh. She almost gets the redirect off the net. Get the net again, Paige. What? Hit the net. You almost went back into it. She is going for a good potential play. backward after getting coaching from you. Oh, that is such a tight gap. Kev. Kev. All right, this is Kev, Kev Jones. Kev. This is definitely Kev, Kev Jones. Kev. Kev. Kev money. Kev money. Oh! oh. We almost, almost got the in from the backside. Oh, More exhale this time, don't, Kev. Don't look at Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no chance you're making you this one. Kev. Nose down. Ooh! Wow, that. Snuck out the back somehow. <laughs> Definitely the hardest putt so far. Okay, no letters given on the last station. It looks like Dickerson is lining up a free throw. 
He is lining up a free throw, but he knows that because that's not really a shot you need to have in disc golf, uh, he's letting the players do whatever they want to get over this netting and into the basket. And we okay. see Chris and Calvin doing this all the time on their practice baskets. No, no Usually with defense. Oh, it's gotta be a jump it's shot. A <laughs> now with a stationary <laughs> defender being Anywhere the netting, on this, map, on the last this map. could be uh, a cakewalk for them. No jump okay, set. this is 30 seconds. right over Kareem. Oh, oh, just off the front. Kobe. Oh, yes! He sees it! I'm not like that. That looks <laughs> nearly <laughs> impossible. Kev on, Jones Paige. cannot believe okay. it. Wait, wait, Paige. Okay, Can let's see if... Just Chris might be 50% from the field hey, today. <laughs> see ya. Was that from <laughs> distance? Three-pointer, you think? <laughs> I would say hardly. And just left for Paige. Who just learned this shot from getting the E? Oh, <laughs> and didn't quite like get that rotation. <laughs> no, Kevin, I've been playing this all my whole life. Two nine, one nine zero, boy. <laughs> Flexing the low PDGA number. Wow. All right. Does not capitalize on the basketball shot. It doesn't seem like Kev is really excited to, to attempt this, but it almost looks like Kevin's gonna try to put top spin He's on it. He's sweating. Come on. Yeah, Kev. Right off the birthday table. Give it that rotation. Get uh, there! Uh oh! Oh! oh he has just the distance left on two that letters one. for Kevin Jones, and here well done, is uh, that's gonna tie him up. Local seven hey, foot five scrub. Yeah, it was. He it, was, the it, was it was like right on line. Oh, Calvin! Oh! oh so and so this big. is to give a letter. It's because he's tall. To Chris he's Dickerson. Dribbling. He's actually dribbling. Oh, oh. oh Calvin! <laughs> And he, oh, he hits Calvin the throws third. his second practice throw of the round. I'm a little surprised a courtesy violation has not been called on him. <laughs> not even a letter. His fellow competitors are enabling him to break the rules of the game. He has three putters in his hand. <laughs> All right, after four stations, score update is Paige with a J O M E, Calvin, J O M, Kevin, J O, and Chris Dickerson leading away with a J. For our fifth round, our players have entered the Skyrider Complex, a miraculous structure of slides and tubes. It's going to be a challenging button here. We have a basket kind of perched below this slide, and I don't even know what they're going to do here. Yeah, Paige has clarified that players must be moving down the slide to attempt the putt, and they have to attempt it before they go down the second break in our kids' slide. Germ, Yuli. You chose the wrong one to miss out on. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying it out on the beach, but we are in here enjoying the cool, Thank wonderful you. flavor of dip Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And I don't know what's going on. Discs are flying. I can't see these players. It might the, be. the background lighting is a little tough for me to see now. I think it is. But discs are flying back up the slide. Uh, I'm last. <laughs> I can't even see that one. I don't even know what's happening. Okay, it looks like Paige did miss her first two putts, though. Oh, I believe they are at the top of the slide. No, not on the downslide. And they're trying to just figure out some sort of way to maneuver this treacherous contraption. Here we go! Help! Oh, Kev And Kevin went full slide. Kev, we're up here. I actually know for a Come fact on, that uh, Urban Air Tyler, oh. Texas provides oh, sticky bottom okay. socks hey, for the participants. Know. Kevin Jones, on the other hand, just has just opted to down. wear hey, standard socks. I see that they're black. I could probably guess that they're hate. That's how he's been flying around this place. He has been slipping and sliding all over this place. He's got a leg up on some of the stations, but probably a uh, disadvantage on a few of the other ones. Absolutely. And Kevin has missed his second putt with incredible speed. Again, thanks to his slick bottom socks. Kev, was that putt hard? Yes, that is so difficult. <laughs> Coming back up. Okay. I don't even know how to do this. All right, Ka Calvin. It's very awkward. Not sure how to attempt it. This could be the hardest putt yet. I don't even know what the line is. <laughs> is it low ceiling, Calvin? Not really, it's just your, I don't know, it's hard. You got it. I don't know hard. Calvin doesn't even know. Go, watch your head, watch doing. your head. He probably has to pick his feet off the ground due to the fact that he is, in fact, wearing sticky bottom socks provided by Urban Air Tyler, Texas. Do we have to go down this side or can we pick the other side? No, we can pick the other side. I don't, I don't know if that's a play, but it might be. He's barefoot. Editing. Ooh. 
Oh my gosh, look out of this. And a second laser beam. Rocketing out of Calvin's hand. Calvin, is Chris going to make missing. one? Huh? Is Chris going to make yeah, one? Yeah, I just showed him that. Oh, thanks, Calvin. The other side is definitely the play. Okay, got a slide. Uh, got a slide. I didn't have any revolutionaries or visionaries <laughs> I don't, in front of you me. You'd probably me pass me up. I haven't slid very like fast. Oh, slide. other side of the slide? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there's multiple sides. Two person slide. Oh, Chris is making a mistake. Here we go, Calvin. You're going down the wrong side. He got it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. My goodness. <laughs> Did you do the basketball oh putt, Chris? Yep, got it. That was such a And Calvin is a vertical putt. He is giving Dude, everyone so cool. a letter. Chris Dickerson <laughs> is shining here on the trampolines. The man plays to win, even in the Skyrider. No, no, no. These are oh, like have grippy, sticky right, socks. That's why they're rolled up Chance so I can slide. <laughs> this could be a giant dagger. This could be a ball of two letters. No! Ooh, just low. All right, All right Chris gives everyone a letter. I mean, that was a challenging <laughs> stage. All right, after five stations, Paige Where's is officially Ken? at Jomez. Calvin, J-O-M-E, Kevin, J-O-M, and Chris still dominating with only a J. And we have moved on to Kevin Jones. It looks like he is lining up some sort of strange, strange bounce shot. I don't quite know what he's doing yet. Wait, he's bouncing off the trampoline? Oh my, oh! oh my gosh, he's going high and off the wall. No, 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 no. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that Just would have been one the of the top. most incredible putts I've um, ever seen. Yeah. That had at least 50 feet of yeah, yeah, air. Too. The yeah. deciding factor here I could mean, also be the uh, durability and flexibility of the plastic of the putters they're using. <laughs> this could bounce off the bottom of the tray. He almost made it. It was just off the back no. rim right oh, there. Oh, it's high. Oh, oh just God. low. Oh, my goodness. And Kev so cannot close. believe it. Calvin almost sinks yeah, it on right. his station. And oh, that's no, he that's in. Oh, oh my goodness. gosh. Almost on the second and bounce. It just doesn't even matter. That's Chris close. takes no Come time on. at all so to oh. think about the putt. Paige Pierce has a chance to give these guys a letter. Yeah. Good, and good. she goes air shot. Yeah. I, like the, I like the play. <laughs> oh. Get in. Oh, wow. What a station. No, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, no, don't. Sorry, 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 sorry. And that was a quick, quick Just station. We almost had a couple of highlight putts. Well, I, got you. I guess we could call them putts. Massage chair backwards basketball shot. Calvin Heimberg is having a nice massage. Is someone going to enter some quarters for them? Oh, are they starting the machine? I think, yeah. Should we start the machine? Okay. Paige expressing a little bit of her uh, distaste in the, right. yeah, uh, so the finger roll putt. Basketball putt. Can't say I blame her. Could be some mind games. They, they could know that. And there is some defense happening. <laughs> All right, you got it, Calvin. Um, are we turning on the massage chair? Oh, see you, Kev. Action. Yes! That's funny, <laughs> Calvin. Oh, that was it. That was the biggest nomez in potentially the history of the production company. Yeah. Followed up by a metal hit, but okay. ooh, uh, that's a tough putt. Phoenix? That's a tough putt. That's an extremely tough putt. I'd be surprised if any of our <laughs> players out. found the basket here. <laughs> what a shot, what a shot. Fending oh. off the defense. Oh, wow, hologram basket. Oh, a little hot. Uh, yeah, mm. no, Explain the flavor of your rainbow different dots here. It's a different one every time. Square like there. Very nice and square. Oh, that's it. And Paige has gone 0 for 2 on her backwards finger roll massage chair. Putt, not necessarily a putt you need to win five world championships. All right, Kev has a chance to give his players letters here. It's only about an eight footer. Oh, it's got to almost Shorter. roll directly behind the head. Oh, it's in. Mm, oh. Another 0 for 2 for our card. <laughs> yeah, again, no cuts made on the station. Maybe these players need to choose a, uh, a little bit easier of a station. We are back to the balance beam that Paige started out on. It looks like Chris is calling for a one foot Good to go. fade away I jump putt. Okay. This could yeah. be. Just one foot maybe. through the entire putt. Could he be doing the crane I mean, stance? No. He's on the right foot. This is incredibly difficult. Oh, he's going back to the robot routine. Oh, oh, splashes out right. right. <laughs> oh, yes, over two. This could be an opening for our card. We got Paige Pierce. Impeccable balance. I think 
Chris might have forgotten that Calvin I, I always so. puts off one foot. Uh, Wait, so he, it's yeah. like a half yeah, version of his step putt. Trying to get an edge on the field, yep. but Paige is all the way through. pretty focused. She is displaying some balance. Ooh. Just right. The whole yep. time. Okay. Dickerson that's, looks that's really right. menacing with that <laughs> foam cube in his hand. Could he throw it? Oh! Wow. <laughs> and Paige plummets to her doom. There you go. Kevin going off the Look left foot. Interesting. Off the left foot, Kev? I don't know. I jump off my left, you know? He is uh, practicing his dips. He learned that in uh, gym class. Oh! Ooh, oh. just a little high. And Kev going off the left he foot. Yes, right. Oh, yeah. And that oh, is yeah. a letter yeah. for Chris and Paige. <laughs> Could Calvin turn the tides? Look, this is no different than his normal putt, I'm telling you. I don't think there's ever been stress on his left foot. Wow. Oh, I feel like this there's is one letter. Be safe. You never miss Right these. on the pole. Oh, my oh, oh and Calvin my just goodness. dishes out. Two letters to Chris. Two oh letters to Paige gosh. and one letter to Kev. And finally, we have some action. <laughs> All right, Brian, let's get a little score update here. Paige Pierce is actually on her last life. One more letter, she is eliminated. Calvin is at J-O-M-E. Kev, J-O-M-E. Chris, also at J-O-M. Paige is up here. What do we got here? She is doing the NFL combine putt. She's doing the trampolines oh to the back Ooh. platform and then immediately trying to hit a putt so through close. the double mando <laughs> ladder system. Yeah, she oh, missed she, her first one. She's given that late turnaround. She needs to make this. She wow. said the big part of this putt is immediately when you hit the second platform, you have to throw your putt to the basket. There is no setting up. And she has <laughs> missed both. The door is wide open to knock Kev, out the five-time world about champion. What? <laughs> Are we ready? And yet again, here comes the ball pit defense. Oh, Kev just absolutely <laughs> displaying that athleticism. There you go. Flies through that Ninja Warrior know. course. And nearly <laughs> falls on his face. This could Somebody be it. All right, Calvin, you're what up. a challenging right, putt. This could be Sorry, your out there. Oh, no. This could be zero for our card. I would be blown away. Here's Calvin. Looking springy. Mm. That is a hard putt. <laughs> and really it could hard. be the direction of the last trampoline getting to the platform. Is forcing them to go against their think, body's momentum. Yeah, kind of a tricky play here. Oh, just go? Just go, just go. <laughs> <laughs> An absolute subpar effort from Calvin Heinberg. And Talk his putter has sank into the lava. All right. All right, Chris is the last person. You got jump for it, Kev. <clears throat> you good there? Chris oh, yeah. has been okay. putting the dagger on this card. And he has a chance to knock out the world champion. Here he goes. Ooh, Ooh and oh, some heckling Kevin from the card. Bad sportsmanship. Like okay. Higher. Chris has got his composure. Let's go, Chris. You got it. High five. <laughs> Last chance. Oh, heads. Off oh. the back wall. Oh. oh. Wow. And no another station. Chance. No no made made putts, Brian. Oh, you know, I can't say that I'm not surprised. We are back in the Sky Rider. You know what I mean? All right. Kevin lining up. Very pretty elevated. We have oh, Kevin oh, going hey, wide oh, right. I heard through hey, the grapevine yeah. that Calvin Heimberg had mentioned that being from Florida, he's never putted this high before. <laughs> good stop, good stop, good stop. Take your base. Oh, Ooh, Kevin Jones tough. misses low. Kevin gives so it two good bids. Running. Kevin, can you tell us how hard that putt actually is? It's really hard. I uh, imagined a little bit more glide out to the left, but so there's not enough more. time for that because it's going no, uphill. It so I it's pretty so. straight. Okay. So the best chance at making it is high, hyzer, or sidearm. This is so not enough more. time for that because it's going no, uphill. 
So it's pretty so. straight. Okay. So the best chance at making it is high, hyzer, or sidearm. This is Calvin's first uphill putt ever. <laughs> oh, and he chooses <laughs> over? Ooh. I'm, I'm, Did he? I'm not happy about myself. <laughs> Oh, be oh my gosh, he goes up and over and Kev can't believe it. And Oh, Calvin. I don't know what to say, Nate. Calvin just shoves it in his face, tells him to take that letter. Kev, tell us just what happened. One of the most frustrating things on the course is when somebody shows you a line that you are too close-minded to see. That's frustrating. That's Calvin facts. goes up and over the Skyrider wall. Oh, oh, see wow. what I'm saying? Yeah, I just didn't quite have the height to swing back into the left. Oh, oh. I can't bring it Sorry. And All right. Chris also misses left. That's a letter for Kev and Chris. This is Paige's last chance. She has to make one of these. I wasn't going to tell you. I was going to let it ride out. That's fine. Have a timer. Oh, that's looking good. Help! Help! Wow, Help! and she goes over it. None of our previous players kill. had enough pace to go the over the basket. That piece this, is it. <laughs> this is it. This is it. It's like closing in on 15 minutes. Oh, it's oh, oh! She is deep. Why they stand there? <laughs> and Paige has oh. annihilated a camera. Yeah. All right, Paige, you're the first one out today. Tell us how you feel. You know, I didn't know that finger rolls were that important, or maybe I would have practiced for the occasion, but you know, now maybe on the course they'll pay off. I have a little bit of knowledge on how to do it now. A new trick putt in your arsenal. Yes. Yeah, I saw them teaching you before Chris attempted that first one. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know I was going to need that today. <laughs> how much fun was this event, though, in the trampoline park? Oh my gosh, so much fun. This is great. Disc golfer's dream, taking over a trampoline park, going crazy with Kev Jones, Calvin, and Chris, and I had a great day. Who, who do you got your money on to take it down? Chris. Chris, for yeah. sure. Well, good to have you on today, Paige. Thanks for joining us, and uh, hopefully we can do it again soon. Sounds good. Thank you. Let's go. And we have taken the basket to Mars. It is the most elevated basket in potentially the history of disc golf. And Calvin, after saying that he's never putted uphill before, he is now putting double uphill. <laughs> This is an amazing basket location. It's so well lit. Oh, that's so short. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And Calvin oh, goes standing Sorry, putt no, onto the safety down. netting. This is at least 50 feet vertical. Short. Oh, Off the tray for Calvin. And now we have an opportunity. I, honestly, I think going first is somewhat of a disadvantage because these players now have a read. They know they need to get it higher. Man. And I'm assuming they're aiming for the rafters on these. Oh, oh, this looks good. Oh my oh, gosh. For two. Oh, oh my oh, gosh. gosh. That was the and nastiest, that, but yeah. he said it right in the bottom. Right here, right here. Whoa. Okay, Kev going with the straddle here. Kev, are you jumping? Absolutely. Okay, he says absolutely. He's jumping into the foam pit. One, two, three. Kevin will find any Ooh. chance he gets to jump putt, even with a foam pit in front of him. Especially, I mean, like I wish this was. You got Especially with a foam pit in front of him. Yeah. Wait, you fanned the wrong hand. He's not fanned. He's not fanned. Oh, he's just off the oh, left hole. In on Annie. And that is a letter for Kevin and Calvin. Hey, good position. Chris Thanks, has Chris. furthered the game. And you. now, what are they going to come up with next, Nate? Chris is up here, and it looks like he's going to try and bounce one off the net. We have a pole very close to the side wall. They're okay, still figuring say, out exactly how the shot should shape yeah, up. Let me get one. No. As a marker. No. They're all flying by the seat of their pants at this point. We also got word that we are running out of time here at the trampoline park. This is going to be our last okay, station before players we'll have right to make their comebacks spot. before Actually, taking no, no, no. another letter. This, this spot. It makes Chris. Right Sorry, just in case. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh! Well, we lost. What? 
What? Oh, I don't have I, I, I didn't even think that he yes. had the angle How's there. The, did anyone hear the, the look man. Look at Kev. Look at Kev. Did anyone hear the <laughs> Kev, is that makeable? Yes, but there's a huge pole in the way. How? how Which one did he bounce it off of? Inside. I called it before the putt. Chris. When did he call the bounce? Chris. Can we call it? I think I asked. Chris has already picked up a Go ahead. Go ahead. Calvin making sure that Chris actually called both the Mando and the deflection off of the net. And Chris has already stopped paying attention to the rest of his competitors. He is playing basketball as we speak. Good up, Calvin. And a horrible attempt from Calvin. He has one more shot. And he oh, drills he it. it. Good point, Calvin. Woo! Calvin loves it. We have ourselves ball game. Let's folks. go, Calvin. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin is lost, and he's already talking very poorly to himself. Kevin went stone cold after Chris Jan. Kevin now has this. He says. Uh oh. There's that pole Kev was talking about. That's a bucket. Ooh, just off the just bottom tray. Slow, and that oh, is a back. letter for Kev. That's E. I'm on my last line. That's he scary. is next up in line to go home. All right, this is the spot here. I like that view. Let's go, man. And again, he may win? jump this still. Yeah, he may jump win. down yeah, below yeah, onto the trampoline. Do we, do we have any yeah, grass? You know, right it, there. It looks like it might I'm worried. I'm glad he signed a waiver. <laughs> As lighthearted as this is, Brian, it's amazing to see these oh! players sticking with their. He drains it. Twice or it's luck. Let's Great, go, let's go. He absolutely hearts it, Brian. <laughs> what? <laughs> At least a hundred footer. Oh my gosh! And I would be shocked if either Calvin or Chris can repeat that putt from, from Kev. That this was has been a highlight reel of a, of a day. Uh, hey, are we onto the backups now? Do we have to make our comebackers yet, Brian? I do not believe so. This could be the, the final round before the players do have to make their comebackers okay. to stay alive. Oh, that ain't bad. Ooh, oh my God. Calvin is just low. And he's just got a straight up standing putt, it looks like. Can you? The way yeah. that Calvin just gets so much pace on it at that, that last second pop with his fingers. Oh, oh, and he goes little stepper there just off the top. Kevin has given him a stroke. He's Joe Mess P. It's a long one. Come on, Chris. Play the AC. Is Chris going to start this out on Anheuser? It's short. It's short. Ooh. Okay. That's a long though. A short though, Brian. Uh -oh. No, come on. Go. Oh, oh, and that God. is a yes. letter. Woo! Wow. Kev getting hyped on that one as We're he should. That was an incredible uh, putt from distance. 100 footer from Kevin Jones coming back after completely blundering the previous station. We have a ball game, folks. And we do, in fact, actually have to hit our comebackers to stay alive or more letters will happen. Over here. Kevin. There you go. Cash. Everyone else is parked. Are we really? All right, score update here. Calvin, Jomez, P, Kevin, one more letter. Chris, just don't, Jomez, it's coming down to the wire here, Brian. Whenever you're ready, Calvin. I just can't wait for the day that Calvin actually busts this out in a round. Oh my God. Could it have been any closer? And with the so backspin dizzy. he's putting on, that's <laughs> almost not a bad way of sticking to the know. greens as well. He just stuck this not, on hardwood floor. It's not stable. <laughs> Oh. Is it my putt? Oh, stop rolling. What are you doing? That was crazy. Ooh, and Calvin's going to okay. have a tough comeback, or so about 20 crazy. feet. Pretty tough for him. Four or five. I think, I think it might have been and three to four. It was four. Does feet. Not get so this it is over it, the ball here. Uh, the comeback right here? is going to be nearly impossible. Oh, okay. I was just. Okay, I got you. Here you go, baby. My turn. Your turn, Kev. Chris is. Oh. And Kevin is doing backflips. He. Oh! Wow. Chris nearly dunks it. Oh, oh and wow. Chris just off the top. Kevin was warming up with some backflips earlier. Does it have to be basketball style? Yeah. And this one is a forced basketball shot. Kevin was hoping to opt out. Toss it up. And wow. just drops it short. Wow. And none of our players capitalize on that basketball oh, putt crazy. station. Comebackers. Kevin's Moving. comebackers oh, are gosh. a little simple. Do I have a tough oh, one? Oh, yeah, we do oh. have comebackers. Oh, no. Calvin with about an 18 footer. Oh, what the heck was that? Ooh, and <laughs> some that? gamesmanship from Kevin Jones. Hey, he's cheating. 
That's a point. Am I good? Cheating from the man who's been taking go. practice putts all day. <laughs> That's the good best putt. point ever, Brian. I appreciate you. Thank you. Calvin Cash is his comebacker, playing defense. Oh. <laughs> After just calling he's out another He's going with the Kev Jones. <laughs> <laughs> he gets the nose down. <laughs> <laughs> he does indeed get the nose down. What if it hits your putter? Fanning off his hands down. inside. Where was the spot? Oh, and he's on a little this? bit Yeah, just where, wherever up there. A okay. slope okay. right there. I wonder if he's going to be able to ramp. jump putt this. Oh. <laughs> He, he looks like he's lining oh, up. Oh no! He does yeah. have two trampolines in front of him to catch you him. Won't lay up. It's, your putt's the next one. Oh, he is jumping. Oh, he sent it. Oh, oh it's low. Oh, oh, it was and so it caught by the fence. Barely got caught by that railing. Ooh, and a wow. perfect ten backflip from Kevin. He, he is right, reset. Right. Again, okay. fanning Sorry. off his hands. Fanning yeah, again. What was Kevin's backflip Kev. before disc off? It could be uh, tack raw. Oh gosh! Oh, she got. Oh, that's oh, it! No. Oh, and it the hits the cameraman and keeps it from Lucky. being a 40-foot comebacker. Uh, you would have had a throw. Just end, end Kev. This is good. Put Kev out. Oh no! He's oh, there, folks! He's there! Kevin oh, Jones is eliminated wow. from the competition. Oh, uh, he smoked me. It was fun. Oh, that ain't bad. He hits That's both! Fun. Calvin sinks both of those Calvin. downhill 60-footers. <laughs> and the champion of the Olympian putt is no longer. Wow. Two-man show, Brian. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. And wow. that's one. Right in the heart. That is embarrassing. And Chris is already in the lead here. If he can make both of this, he could potentially put oh, a call. Oh, I didn't get there. Be good. Oh, and he's stuck. Yes. And if he would have gone underneath that railing, that might have been a really difficult comeback putt. All right, guys. Kev Jones has been eliminated by Calvin Heimberg. Kev, honestly, after watching you come up in this trampoline park with your back flips and your straddle putts, I felt like you were the favorite. Where do you think it went wrong today? Well, I've got to make a couple of those outside circle putts, a couple jump putts that I missed. I missed all, both of the ones on the balance beam. So four missed putts there and then two crucial ones there. Now, Kevin, I know there was a controversial call banning the backflip putt right before the competition. How do you feel about that in, in regards to the, the shots that you were kind of practicing? I feel like a backflip putt is highly unlikely, so it probably didn't affect me at all. Maybe it helped me. We do see you are glistening in sweat. Mm. You have laid it all out there on the field. How do you feel right now about being here in this wonderful trampoline park? Man, I feel lucky to be alive and I have the best job in the world, hands down. We'll see you at the next one for sure, right? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Here's Calvin. Yeah, far. You can do it. You Ooh, can do he's not safety. happy about that that uh, safety oh, pole. He handicapped himself. <gasps> oh, and his comebacker is going to be a little table. tough. He's going to be underneath a picnic table. Will be an interesting comebacker for sure, Brian. He's got to practice Whoa. a higher release. Chris's spin putt so has an advantage here. And Calvin even shows the station. Oh, oh God. big skip. Oh God. Okay, that's going to be a manageable comeback, but. See ya. Honestly, oh, Chris has a chance to close yeah, the door yeah. right here. If he can make both of these putts, Calvin is gone. I feel good about this. You feel good about Dickerson? I have a feeling Chris's trajectory on his putt is perfect for this, this uh, basket position. We do have this challenging pole. He just squared up. His putt might have to come in from a little bit more Anheuser. My question is, how do you hit that twice? Wow, and both of those redirects. Incredibly fortunate not to roll down that ramp. Well. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Calvin's third uh, throw, his uh, common practice shot, oh, has gone down the slide. <laughs> and he might have lost skin on that one, folks. Is that his <laughs> skin? I just lost my entire <laughs> Did he get the slide burn? Oh, yeah. His face fell. The two competitors are perched at the top of this stairwell. I believe that is the employee wellness room that they are dangerously the close to. It's amazing seeing these. these two are good friends off the course. It's amazing seeing them. Uh -oh. Don't fall in the lava. 
Oh, that could have sunk to the bottom. That is not retrievable. <sighs> and wow. that is two misses. One of them? It's, a, it's questionable positioning. We don't know how far down the hill that went. That could have sunk deep to the depths. And I did hear Kevin asking Calvin what he wanted for Smoothing King, but I did not hear him ask either you or myself. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. <laughs> my Dippin' Dots did not nourish my body. I didn't ask Chris either. Oof. Calvin is going basketball. Bowl strategy. Good putt, good putt. Okay. Off to the, man, this one's gonna suck. How, how do you feel about this putt? This one's not good. You have to make it. No, you don't. No, no, that's easy peasy. There you oh, go. Oh, and putt. Calvin sinks that that's tricky practice, spin putt folks. from the lava. That's why you practice us. Oh, and the white putter is safe. Okay. Hey, nice comeback putt, Calvin. Thank you. I, I'm just straddling. Hold on, hold on. And okay. since there's Can only two players, he does not have a second to call him on the footfall. Oh, fell forward. <laughs> Calvin is on an island here by himself. We've extended the basket about a 25 feet longer than the last station. Again, we're still tight at the top. Calvin up first. And a make is a letter at this point. This is a tough position for the two of these players. And with this pin being bad. elevated? Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Calvin has a 40 okay, okay. Oh, wow. foot no. elevated comebacker. This could be it. Stay up. Oh, God. Oh, oh no. And it, oh, no. At this oh, point. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I should just lay up. Yeah, you probably should. It's not the spirit of the game. Knowing how slimy okay. and competitive Chris Dickerson is, not, he very well up. may lay these two me. up, ruining Calvin's life and ending the game. Oh, and he does put it pretty okay, soft, okay. leaving him only 15 feet. Is it in? That is a chance. Oh, just mm. off the front. and. Wow. Stop okay. Chris has two way easier comebackers. It's amazing to see these two players in here uh, competing in such a lighthearted event because these are actually the two players that were competing for our last major, just, just last October. All this right, is nothing. He's make one of them. And he's putting right at us. This is for a letter. Okay. He's at least he's got staying ice in his Wait, veins, Brian. And from the same oh, no. spot, he's what? got his second so. comebacker. This is big. I can't even believe Calvin's real. <laughs> he's such a character. Look at him. He's so, so good at this Calvin. golf. <laughs> and those weren't even comebackers. Those were 40 footers. And Chris has me. got I gotta, I gotta make a couple of short comebackers. He can miss them. I've seen yeah. him miss closer. I've seen, I've seen <laughs> myself miss closer as well. Oh. Oh. And an absolute knuckleball falls into the basket. Yeah, good it's point there, Brian. Scene. I don't know of too many other players that that make putts with as little of spin that Chris okay. does. And that's why okay, he doesn't have the long comebackers. <laughs> We have not seen a letter dished out since Kevin Jones was eliminated. We are tied at the top still. Calvin is up first. We have a forced Mando left of a far right pole in this contraption. Pretty much a normal putt for Calvin. Calvin's gonna go up and over the railing again. <gasps> Oh, that, that is really bad. He's got an impossible... Oh, what? and he makes it! <laughs> okay, but he has an impossible comeback putt. He has bounced off the net and back into the lava pit. I don't even think that's makeable. He does have a pretty rough structure above him. He might be able to land a basketball putt. Here's Chris. No! And he makes one. I have never seen anybody make putts softer than Chris Dickerson. That's hot. Oh, that's hot. Oh, sit down, sit down. And Chris okay. has a three-foot okay. comebacker, and Calvin plunges into the gallows. <laughs> the pressure is on. This isn't for the match, however. This is just for one letter. I'm going to call this right now. If Calvin makes this, he wins. The entire match. Up short. And that is uh, gonna be a letter for Calvin. 
Just one more. He is on the brink of elimination. And we are back in the ball pit. Oh, no Mando this time. Chris is just going straight on here. And I knew. And that's, oh! He gets to spit out. That was oh in God, that the basket. So fortunate. Who makes these? Come so on. Good I get lucky. And Calvin, and Calvin has a chance to close it out here. If he can sink both of these, it is game over. If we don't get a slow mez how, how this to spit out, I don't know <laughs> what life is anymore. I'm not, I'm not gonna mess you up. And this sets up great for Calvin's putt. There's and one. There's one. This could be for this the comeback victory. I hate this basket. <laughs> I'm gonna yell it. And there it is. He's done it! <laughs> He's done this it! Has that. <laughs> and he shouts two times and jumps into the ball pit. Calvin Heinberg with a comeback victory over Chris Dickerson. Wow. What an event. What a pleasure it's been to host with you, Brian. What a day, Nate. <laughs> Dipping dots and all. Calvin, after making a horrific mistake, wow. has now won his second putting competition. Wow. Chris, you had all the momentum in the world coming down the stretch against one of your good friends, Calvin Heinberg. How do you feel about how it all went down? You know, typically I don't mind getting beat by Calvin, especially when it's a well-fought battle. But in this situation, whenever, you know, the putt was just taken away from me, um, it's a little harder to, to take. You know, Chris, we witnessed as commentators um, your opponent, Calvin, um, accusing a lot of the competitors of cheating throughout the entire competition, mm -hmm. while we noticed he was also taking quite a few practice throws after he was missing. How do you feel about losing to somebody who is contradicting themselves so harshly? You know, I think as pros, we need to hold ourselves to a higher standard. Well, it was a great showing, Chris. Again, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you at the next one. Calvin, you were on the brink of elimination time after time. You came through. Those 40-foot comebackers at the end come to mind. How do you feel about those putts, and how do you feel being the champion? Uh, it's great being the champion again, you know. I think everyone thought I was the underdog again. It's uh, at least what I tell myself, so. Glad to beat, you know, a bunch of great putters, um, but only one winner, and uh, I'm taking them all down. The winner's the best. Calvin, today. you were uh, labeled local scrub mm -hmm. by the rest of your competitors, yeah. and uh, our own commentator, Nate Perkins, had labeled you that as well. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about your new status as a player? Do you feel like you've ascended that label? I'm still a scrub, but all these guys, they're not local, so they don't get a practice putting in here. This is where I spent all my time practicing, so I knew all the lines. We want to give a huge shout to local Ian Power for donating the basket today. And again, thanks to Urban Air in Tyler, Texas for allowing the crew to come in to film today. Jomez Pro, this would not be possible without your crew. Thanks for continually pushing the games and making them so fun for all of us to watch and view at home. And again, Patreon supporters, this would not be possible without you. Go to Patreon dot com slash Jomez Pro and we'll see you guys at the next one. Thanks for watching Jomez Pro, the putting game. Join us next week for some insanity at the Arkansas State University Stadium, waterfalls, goalposts, trick shots, and much more only on Jomez Pro.